Hi, I'm Val Beebe. I'm the host and a visionary of That Celebrity Interview. Good day. Thank you for being here on the Valder Beebe Show. I've got Christopher Nolte this morning. I'm going to start my morning off with that. He's head of the Global Public Affairs for Airbnb. And he's got some in, a new report from Airbnb. And they found since, that since the start of the pandemic, new hosts on the platform have earned $1 billion worldwide. Now, that's interesting. So I thought Christopher could give us the inside scoop on that. Christopher, thanks for being here. What's the, what's the scoop about the $1 billion? Yeah, thanks so much for, uh, for having me. Um, you know, of course, it's, it's been one year since the pandemic started. And, and in that time, so much has changed, um, including, you know, the way that, that we're traveling and the way that people are thinking about travel. And, and one of the things that we've seen is that people really want two things. When they travel, they want safety and comfort, and, and they want the opportunity to connect with friends and family. And so, you know, amidst what has been a, a, a period of economic hardship, you know, this shift has actually really created an opportunity for people, you know, who are willing and wanting to share their homes, rent out their homes in Airbnb to, to make some, you know, extra money. As you mentioned, you know, since the beginning of the pandemic, people who become Airbnb hosts for the very first time have earned more than a billion dollars. Uh, and on average in the United States, that's been about $3,900 per new Airbnb host. And, you know, to put a finer point on that, that's about 2x what has been offered in terms of uh, stimulus checks here in the United States. You know, we know that three in 10 uh, have, have used those extra dollars to pay down their mortgage, one in four are using that money to, to pay debt. Um, and so, you know, it's creating an important economic opportunity for people in a, in a time that's otherwise been challenging and, and somewhat unstable for so many. Airbnb. Oh, I'm thinking of tiny house. That's me. Oh, or separate house. Are people renting their houses according to what you said? Or Airbnb? Are they renting a room in their house? Yeah, you know, we got started uh, with, you know, two guys in San Francisco running out some air mattresses on their living room floor. And in the time since, you know, we've evolved quite a bit to have tree houses and yurts and, you know, apartments and, uh, you know, castles in the south of France if you really want it. Um, and so, you know, right now, given what's going on in the world, you know, there really aren't many folks who are renting out a room in their home, but there are people who are, you know, renting out the, uh, the, the guest house that they might be fortunate enough to have in their backyard or, or people who are renting out their space while they're going away on vacation themselves. And, you know, for someone who's fortunate enough to maybe have a second house somewhere, they're, they're deciding to rent that out. Um, more than anything, what we're seeing, though, is that, that people want to get away. And people, you know, there's just this pent up demand to get out of the house and, and to, you know, explore somewhere new. And that's really being made possible by Airbnb hosts opening up their homes and sharing their homes and their communities with people. What are some of those top travel destinations that people are wanting to go to or get away to rather? Yeah, you know, what's interesting is that for so long, you know, uh, when we thought about travel, we, we thought about, you know, getting on a plane, flying across the country or, or, you know, flying around the world. What we're really seeing right now is people, you know, sort of exploring communities that are 150 or 200 miles, um, you know, away from where they live. And so, you know, Florida, for example, not not too far of a, a you know, a trip from, um, from Texas, uh, you know, or, you know, in, in Tennessee, you know, in the Great Smoky Mountains, you know, we saw people who were new ho Airbnb hosts uh, in um, Tennessee earn $15 million since the beginning of the pandemic. Um, you know, we, we've seen people wanting to explore smaller communities, you know, communities that are near water. But more than anything, we've also just we've seen growth across geographies um, because people are yearning to get out of the house and to travel. Today, my guest is Global Public Affairs uh, Officer Christopher Nolte at Airbnb. Christopher, are women some of the biggest beneficiaries by being host in this new trend? Did your report show you that? Yeah, you know, it's really interesting, especially as there's been so much reporting around the impact of women leaving uh, the workplace because of, you know, demands during the, the pandemic and need to support families. One of the most interesting things that came out of this report was the fact that 55% uh, of these new hosts were women. Uh, and, you know, one of the things that we've seen on our platform for many years is that senior citizen women are actually one of the fastest growing, uh, you know, segments of hosts. Uh, and, you know, if, if, if they're anything like my grandmother, it couldn't be better to go stay with them for a long weekend to get away. <laughs> okay. 
So what role do you see these hosts playing in the future of Airbnb as we work our way through this COVID-19? Yeah, you know, what's what's really sort of interesting is as we've talked to guests and as we've surveyed consumers, one of the things that we've seen consistently is that the thing that people miss the most, more than sports, more than restaurants, live music, is travel. And, you know, what we've also heard from people is that they're really looking for travel that, you know, creates opportunity for them to connect, connect with friends, with families, with new communities. And what makes Airbnb special is our host community because they open up their space and, and they create those sort of special um, opportunities and, and special connection that people are really looking for. But it's not just about uh, our host hospitality. It's also about the spaces that our hosts create. Uh, you know, there's something really special about staying in a home that has a great bookshelf of books and has, you know, all the things you could need to cook a great meal in the kitchen. Um, that, that's so different than sort of a traditional, you know, hospitality uh, arrangement. And, you know, our hosts are really an, an important part of driving that. And so as, you know, the world sort of shifts more and more towards travel that, that's focused on connection and, and creating great experiences, we really think that Airbnb hosts, uh, those who are already on the platform and, and those who will hopefully join us are really an important part of that. Well, it sounds like it's a, turning out to be really a good year for Airbnb. Where can my audience go and find out more maybe about this report or if they want to know more about Airbnb? Yeah, absolutely. You know, if you're looking for a place to just stay or an online experience, Airbnb.com is the place to go. Uh, and if you're thinking about becoming a new host, Airbnb.com slash host is the place for you. We'll walk you through everything you need to know about becoming a host, give you the tools you need, and, uh, and then help people find your space. Thank you so very much. You made it exciting. I got to book something on Airbnb. Thanks for being my guest on the Founder BB show. Thank you. Hi, I'm Founder BB. I host the Founder BB show broadcast on radio and television. And this is my phone pouch. My phone pouch is a great invention. It allows me to go hands free, pocket free, purse free, even belt free. Head on over to myphonepouch.com.